Now, Susan B. Anthony fought her whole life for that one supreme cause of getting women the right to vote here in the United States. She was in her 30s when she started on that journey and she died 54 years later, still not having achieved that goal. In fact, the Susan B. Anthony Amendment to the United States Constitution that gives women that right to vote came after her passing. About a year before her passing, she gave an interview when she was asked about whether or not she felt very dispirited about all these failures that she had seen along the way. And now here she was in the twilight of her life and still not seeing any chance of success. And here's how she responded to that question. She said, defeats, there have been none in my life and work. All our defeats have been glorious victories in that the cause of women has never been presented to the voters of the country without winning many of them. We never lose. We are always progressing. Do you notice in those words, do you notice in that thought, this discipline of how she had this goal, this lofty aspiration, which we might think of as a binary, zero-one thing. Either women have the right to vote or they don't. But from her standpoint, she had broken that goal into small steps. And those small steps were that every time she won over one heart, one mind, one human being in America to that cause, to support that right for women to vote, she was declaring a small victory right there. And so over 54 years, she actually had achieved many, many, many victories, even though the ultimate goal was still right now out of reach. Isn't that a powerful testament to this, to this discipline of of recognizing that ultimately to motivate people to change, to make them stay committed to that path of change, to make them continue to practice you know, the effort that they have to put in, that if we learn to break down whatever overall aspiration we have into, into these tangible and measurable and you know, uh, small steps.